Good morning, everyone. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of the Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be, be with you all, and with your spirits. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Let us pray. O oh God, who on this day revealed your only begotten Son to the nation by the credence of a star, grant in your mercy that we who know you already by faith may be brought to behold the beauty of your sublime glory through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who live and reign with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, Alleluia. We observe his star at its rising and have come to pay homage to the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has, born, who has been born king of the Jews? For we observe his star at its rising, and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened and all Jerusalem with him, and calling together all the chief priests and the scribe of the people, he inquired of them where the mission was be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means less among the rulers of Judah, for from you shall come a ruler who is a shepherd, my people Israel. Then Herod's secretary called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had been at its rising until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chest, they offered him gifts of God, Francis and Mir, and having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, from the east to the west, We have seen his star shine. 
The wise men, meaning no Jewish people, came to Palestine, to Bethlehem, to worship the son of Mary, Savior of Israel, the chosen people. Why strangers are associated with this feast? The birth of the Savior. The Epiphany gives us reason and the response of God to do it like just that. The Epiphany reminds us that the salvation in Jesus Christ is universal and all the same even pagan nations are associated with the same heritage, with the same body, sharing the same promise in Christ born in Bethlehem. This is the strong message St. Paul addressed to the Ephesians in his letter. This message is addressed to each of us, everyone in his culture, language, country, and family. Jesus offered himself to the one who sees him, who comes to meet him. He allows himself to be touched seen and adored, etc. He belongs to all and every one of us. It is to say that each one of us must be a seer of God in view of, in, of his own salvation and to all. Spiritual retreat, pilgrimage, recollection, meditation of the word of God Help us if we like to do so. Epiphany is a feat of the quest of God, his light, his mission. The three wise men did not hesitate to leave their country to find a mission. You and me, what are we doing to find him? They are not only specialists for this. It is for those who want to, who seek for, that find him. We must dare to, ever, to venture on the path of faith. We must find his presence again and recognize him as a mission. We must avoid falling into the indifference of the high priest of the temple and the scribes. Eros' negative attitude should be avoided. Do not seek to suppress or to be silenced the revelation of Jesus in the world. We must follow the example of the Magi. We must be prepared to make some effort to meet the Lord in our life. He is the one who leads us to the Father. To be a disciple, is to be cultivate the guest of God, the continual progress in faith, in hope, and in charity. As the wise men must bring their gift to, to Christ, each of us must bring to him what he is, what he has, and give thanks to God through his Son, Savior of all nations. The church is only church if it is rich in the diversity in its members. This is the mystery of our faith in her son, son of Mary. All are called to participate in the privilege of being the chosen people. Everyone is the new chosen people. There are no foreigners in the church, whatever the geographical, geographical situation. We are at home in every church of God, Catholic and Apostolic. The grace of, all, of God is for all. This, this is the message of the Lord's Epiphany. Salvation is universal. Taught they must have true solidarity between churches, a sign 
of our belonging and the communion of the same Lord to the same faith by the Holy Spirit. Anyone can receive the fullness of grace through the redemption of Christ and faith in Him. For example, it is clear. There are no more Jewish, Greek, Galatian, Ephesian, Quebecers, Canadians, Senegalese, no men and women. We are all in Christ. In Him, we are discipleship, brothers and sisters. Let us pray. God, our Father, you make yourself now now in Jesus Christ, the neighbor in Bethlehem. It is your epiphany, the manifestation of your light to all who see you. The star rose in the night of our quest in this world. The star attracts and enlightened people who are far away, the pilgrims of the absolute, the mansions of the light. May we be your epiphany by manifesting ourselves to all those who see a star to guide them towards your son. Amen. Happy celebration with family. Let's share in good humor and joy the cake king, the king cake. May Almighty God bless you the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.